What's up YouTube, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood fish keeper, and today I want to show you guys those keyholes I was trying to show you before, but they were hiding. Um, so I have in here one and two lively on keyholes and one Crementus cichlid fry. Come on, focus. Galaxy S8, trying to focus. Come on, buddy. Um, but yeah, so the crib came from... Um, a uh, male and female pair that I had in a 55 gallon at the Murray house. Uh, and I just liberated three fry from one of their brews and put it in a shrimp tank. And this is one of the fry that survived, the only fry to actually survive um, to adulthood. In a similar manner, I raised uh, a Danio fry, a zebra Danio fry. Um, but anyway, here goes the key holder to the point of this video. Um, I'm really hoping to keep these guys for uh, ever. And I'm really praying that, you know, I have a, a male and female uh, and that they someday procreate. And if I ever see any other keyholes in the future, I'm going to buy them uh, impulsively. I don't have a choice, really. Um, but, yeah, I think if ever there were two fish that might be male and female, I think it'd be these guys. This looks comparatively female or feminine next to this guy here who even has a little bit of Come on, focus. A little bit of red trailing on his fins, if you can see it in this video. Um, but yeah, Clythrocara moronii. Having been a planted 10 gallon aquarium. Hopefully, it'll be heavily planted as soon as these plants grow in. Um, I think they look absolutely stunning. And I might add some neon to this tank one day. Uh, who knows? I'm going to get settled in first and see if I actually want to buy that 125 or not. I hopefully will. Uh, I'm definitely going to talk to my roommates about it first. My housemates about it first. But if I can get that 125, throw it up in uh, either the living room or the dining room, then I'll probably take down some of these tanks. Probably this one. Not the cube. Not this tin. Probably not that 20 but uh this 10 this 20 and this 5 will go and the 29 will probably go too i just have a 10 gallon on a stand right there and then this 20 and then i'll have my desk space back to me and i'll probably keep this cube up just because i just got these new lights for it um that are probably going to start working wonders pretty soon so yeah i want to breed the uh nanakara in this tank over here Sorry for all the whiplash I'm giving you guys by turning around. It's a lot to see. Uh, and there goes Honey, the uh, Red Devil. Maybe a Midas, but probably Red Devil. I don't really know, though. I'm new to Red Devils and Midases. Um, I'm really kind of new to bigger cichlids. Not really, actually. Um, I'm new to Red Devils and Midases. Amphilobus, really. Uh, I've had flower for um, maybe about six or seven months. Uh, and I had Charlie, and I bred, you know, Jack Dempsey's and Fire Miles in the past, and Salvini's. And I know Jack Dempsey's are really the only ones that could be considered bigger cichlids, but yeah, bred those. So there goes Honey, still really shy. Hopefully, I'll get a 125, throw Honey in, throw Nova in. There goes Nova, also a very shy cichlid. Charlie, however, thank God, is not. So maybe he'll bring out some livelihood in them. Um, and I also want to throw in the pair of Salvinis if they grow fast enough. But in these tanks, I'm guessing they won't. Maybe if I throw them in a 29 to grow out. Or maybe if I put them in the 125 first, give them like a month or two. Let them settle in, that kind of thing. Pair up, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this is just uh, the rambling of a hopeful fish keeper who ran into a little bit of money and it's really burning a hole in his pocket so the goal if i have the patience um is to breed some fish first i want to breed the nanakara and i want to breed the cribs and maybe even salvinis if they you know grow fast enough mature fast enough actually while i'm at it i'll show you guys the female salvini watch honey go away and hide i'm sorry honey that is a really beautiful fish though um, there goes the female Nanakara and the female Salvini. Uh, 
I'm thinking it's a female. It was in a tank of pretty much all male juvies. Um, and this one, you see how it has the black marking on its dorsal, but it also has another one near the back of its dorsal fin. And I know that black marking in the center of the dorsal fin is a clear sign for Salvini's to be female, but given the circumstance, I'm not sure about this fish, but I was sure enough to buy it. Um, because it was the closest thing to a female I could find at the time. And given that, hopefully I'll breed Salvini's again. I'll breed Nanakara successfully this time because I've had them, you know, lay eggs. I've had fry from them, but I never pull because I, I value uh, parental behavior in cichlids, but not anymore. Um, well, I mean, of course I do still value it, but I think what I'm going to do is um, leave the mother in there, but I'm still going to pull some in the same way, either put it in this tank in which I'm growing out endlers or put it in some shrimp tank or both probably to better my odds of raising Nanakara successfully. So yeah, I'm gonna grow out the crib and I'm gonna grow out the keyholes. I'm gonna grow out the uh, endlers and the Salvinis. I'm gonna breed the Nanakara, I'm gonna breed the cribs and I'm going to keep looking, keep scouring the internet for a 125. So hopefully I'll have uh, some good news for you guys in the future. Whichever one of these things pans out first, you know, you guys will be the first to know. And thanks for watching. Oh, I, I have to mention this. Well, man, I think this is like one of the coolest things ever. So this Salvini is just vicious. Um, I'm not sure what his name is right now. A, a working title for him is Aragon, but that might change. Um, I have to like get to know a fish's personality before I, you know, name it. Uh, or at least I'd like to. And he just hides so much. The very vicious Salvini. Anything I put in with him, he'll kill. He'll kill endless live bears his size. Uh, I'll have like females in there's dithers, and he just rips them apart every day. Uh, I put them in, like I'll put three in one day. The next day, there are two in, and one of them has like its stomach ripped apart. Next day, there's one alive, and the other one has its stomach ripped apart. And then, uh, so yeah, I stopped putting dithers in with him, but when I put the male Nanakara in, which is bigger than him, the male Nanakara is just you know, chasing around a little bit. The Nanakara is a really, or the Golden Eye Akara is really uh, calm, really mellow, cichlid. Um, so yeah, he'll like chase him a little bit. If the tables were turned, Salvini would probably kill this male, but because the male is the bigger one, the Nanakara is the bigger one, the quote unquote aggressor, this tank works. I really like it. The Nanakara is acting as a dither for the Salvini. Salvini's still well fed. Um, and the Nanakara, you know, I'm trying to get him more food and trying to uh, condition him to spawn. But yeah, and it's the same kind of situation in the other tank with the uh, female Nanakara and the Salvini. It's just, I love doing that, putting uh, baby big fish with adult nanos. Uh, not really nanos, dwarfs. And this tank also works because the keyholes are bigger than the crib. If the crib were the uh, bigger one and the more aggressive one, I'd imagine that the keyholes would get bullied out of food. Um, but yeah, so that's everything that's going on right now. Uh, I have a pair of cribs in the 40 downstairs. Uh, I have these keyholes here. I have the Nanakara. And I'm growing out Salvini's, growing out Endler's. Oh, mud crab. So I got a mud crab out of, uh, I want to say the James, one of the rivers, one of Virginia's many rivers. And I put two of them in here. One of them died like that exact same day, pulled out the body, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that was like two, I want to say two weeks ago. But, you know, two or three days ago, I find this. Which looks like a molted crab shell. So... Maybe there is still a crab in here, kicking it around, doing the do, you know, finding food and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know this is kind of a longer video. This wasn't uh, what I intended it to be, but it was kind of a, a, an all-around update on what's going on in my room. I have a lot of gallons of uh, water going on right here, and I'm hoping that they'll all be productive in some way, shape, or form. I want to get back into seriously breeding fish while I have the opportunity as an undergrad, and I really want to make money. Uh, on it to like kind of support it before I leave undergrad you know shipping fish selling fish on Facebook uh, eBay whatever so if you have any uh, suggestions on how I can do that please feel free to comment if you like what you're seeing please comment uh, leave a like subscribe and thanks for watching 
See you guys next time. Peace.